Have you ever wanted your martini to taste like raspberries and be purple? My name is David Edwards and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. We are going to make a bramble martini. Now this is a combination of the classic martini and Dick Bradshaw's bramble with of course one main ingredient, gin. Now having said this, this is going to be really, really easy to put together and stellar to look at. But before we get started, let's talk about the spirit and the liqueur that we're going to use. Our main spirit is Empress 1908 Gin. It's 42.5% ABV and it's produced in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Our liqueur is Giffard's Creme de Framboise. It's 16% ABV and it's produced in Angers, Loire Valley, France. Now this is a simple three ingredient cocktail that unlike a classic martini, it's not stirred. We're going to shake it. So grab your shaking vessel. Now we're going to start with a raspberry liqueur. Now I said I'm using Giffard Creme de Framboise, but use whatever you can get. You just have to remember that the ABV in that liqueur may be higher than what I'm using here. And we're going to start with a half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now your next ingredient is gin. And we're using some Empress 1908 gin. Now this gin does contain butterfly pea flour. However, if you cannot get this or a gin like this, you can infuse your own gin with butterfly pea tea, and that will give you the exact same color and properties that you would get in this gin. Now we are going to use, however, two ounces or 60 milliliters. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a nice mulberry or Tyrian purple. Uh, anyways, that's just my opinion. If you think it looks something different, leave a comment down below. Now this next part is where the magic will happen because butterfly pea flower tea actually changes color once you add citrus juice to it. And for that, we're going to use some lemon and we're gonna cut this in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters and then pour it into the glass. That is a gorgeous color. So as I said, we are going to shake this. So what we need to do is fill this up with some ice and we wanna make sure that we shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So grab your lid, make sure you have a good seal. Give it a flip and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand raspberries. Put that off to the side and we're going to serve this in a martini glass because it is a bramble martini. I just for a moment there, I sounded really smart there, didn't I? Having said that, <laughs> ah, inside joke. Anyways, uh, what I am gonna do is I'm going to fine strain this to keep out any ice shards. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic look at it. Grab yourself a cocktail pin and a couple of raspberries. And what we'll do is we'll just put those in here like so as the garnish. And this is a bramble martini. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, mm. that gin is there. The raspberries right underneath it. The lemon pulls it all together. And you know what? It is a tart, nice, Absolutely fantastic after dinner cocktail. If you like raspberry cocktails, take a look at this video here and it's a ramble cocktail. I know you'll love it. 